that we call eyes, which shows you that you are a true reflection of the universe, and that the universe is you, and you are the universe. Are you ready? You know what they say, as above, so below. Are you ready to go? So, he's 12. I think, let me tell y'all this, okay? We know growing up kids is going to fight. And they're always, parents are always on, well, if somebody hit you, you hit them back, okay? And a lot of times, nowadays in this energy, parents encourage shit like this. I'm going to tell y'all like this. What I would do every day, I would go to the school. <laughs> I would ask to see, I would ask to see his parents. And I would make them two boys sit down and talk with each other, okay? What we don't do is we're, we're, we're so big on, on negativity in the black community, we don't try to bring peace. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm so tired of that shit, it ain't even funny. But that, you know, that come, that's, even when we were growing that, you know, that happened even when we were growing up, because when we were growing up, Especially in the hood, you see you see kids get into it, and then next thing you know, the parents is fighting. The parents but, but is see, in the fight. But see, that's got to stop. So that, that, that stuff been keep, happening. Yeah. It ain't nothing new. But it ain't nothing new, but it's, it's, not, it's something old is, that needs to be changed. The, and what I mean by that is, a couple, it was, now I had to be back in 2009 or 8. My, my niece, she was in middle school, and they had the same problem. And the parents is like standing there. Like, why the fuck y'all standing there? Watching it. Watching it. No, we ain't watching it. Stop the fight. That shit pissed me off because it's like, I told them little girls, I said, y'all supposed to be friends. Y'all supposed to be sisters. Why are y'all fighting each other over what? Probably a boy. They was in middle school. They was like 12, 13, right? So, I mean, my thing is, see, they ain't going to do better because the parents don't do better. Mm -hmm. And if the parents don't do better, then you're going to get that. So, Ira, right, to answer your question, get his parents, y'all go to the school, find out why they was fighting, and make them understand the reason they don't need to fight. I'm so goddamn sick of our people being so angry and so ghetto-fied and doing dumb shit the way they be doing shit, and, and then you got all these young boys out here killing themselves, or killing each other, or beating up each other, shooting each other over bullshit. Yeah. And I agree with that. What's this boy's name? Charleston. Charleston uh, White. Charleston White. He's telling the goddamn truth, y'all. Because the black people need to do better. I don't give a goddamn if they get mad enough. We too fucking angry. We too goddamn rude sometimes. Sometimes we just don't know how to fucking act. Yeah, we got we to gotta, uh, learn how to handle situations when we get emotional without getting physical. Let around. me tell you something, Ira Day. Who's the mother? Or who's the, who's the son? It ain't about what he want. You the mother. He's 12 years old. He don't tell you what to do. You tell his little ass you go and get involved. And you're going to take it to the school. And at the end of the day, if he don't, you need to go up to that school and find out if they got some type of gang affiliation. Or, or where they don't, where they got this new rule, don't snitch. Snitch my ass. <laughs> snitch my goddamn ass. You tell it all. <laughs> don't snitch. That's the new thing with these kids now. No, no, that's not cool. I don't care. They don't tell, and then they getting bullied and picked on, and then they can't Some of them are killing themselves and, and all of this sort of shit. No. It. No, you tell. You teach them snitches and okay, is okay in situations. You know what? At the end of the day, honestly speaking, I'm going to be like this. The next time something happened, he would tell me, because guess what? That's your child. He came out of your vagina. And guess what? If you don't want to do that, then you got the power to bless and curse your son. And you got the power to make him do what you want him to do. Y'all mothers better recognize it, what it is. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a curse, there's a curse in Africa that women do when their children disrespect them. Love me, never